Hello YouTube, it's GoPronupper, and today I'm going to be showing you all of my SLR cameras. I'm pretty sure these are all in the order going this way that I purchased them. There's probably a couple or maybe more that are out of place. Um, I'm talking mainly about 35mm SLRs here. don't really have SLRs in any other sort of film category. I'm probably forgetting something somewhere. Or not. But... Either way, there are two that I cannot show you because they are going to be featured in my next camera haul, uh, but I will give you a hint, Pentax and Nikon. I'll leave you to speculate, but that camera haul should be coming out um, the week after Easter, so just uh, be ready for that. And anyways, let's get started. So the first SLR I ever purchased was the Pentax K1000. Pretty much the workhorse student camera, one of the best known student cameras ever created. And it was the first one I bought. I paid $25 for it. So, another camera that I bought shortly after is the Konica Auto Reflex T3. And this one I picked up from a resale store for a whopping 15 bucks. The guy didn't really know what he had here. So this comes with that fantastic Konica lens, but a great purchase, really sturdy camera. After that, I picked up this Zeiss Icon Contaflex. It's the only fixed lens, or like non-interchangeable lens uh, SLR that I have. This one I paid $30 for at an antique mall. Really nice German camera, super robust. Uh, it went dry for a while, but then I found this at my local resale shop along with the next camera. This is a Practica MTL5 35mm SLR camera. This camera was 5 bucks. Body only. I purchased the lens separately. But mechanically, it's perfect. Cosmetically, it's really good. And a neat little student camera. Very robust. Great for the $5 price tag. The other camera I picked up with that was this one, the Sears KS Super uh, Automatic SLR camera. The battery's dead, so I can't really show you. Also, the shutter's locked down. But um, I do have a separate video talking about this on my, my thoughts on it and the lens. I'll put that uh, down in the description if you want to check that out. Some sample photos at the end. So the one I purchased after that, I believe, this was my 100th camera, the Yashica TL Electro X. I don't have batteries in here, so I can't show you all the shutter speeds. It automatically defaults to 1 1,000th of a second if there are no batteries inside. But this one I picked up for, I believe, $22 at a antique store, or an antique mall in my area. And this was my 100th camera, so this marks the 100th camera in my collection. A very neat camera. So after that, I picked this up from a Pawn America for around $25. It's a Minolta SRT100. I also have a thoughts on video on this camera too that I will put down in the description with sample photos. It's a really great camera and super fun to use. A lot of really amazing lenses available for it. So I got a great deal on that. I picked this camera up at a Goodwill for $2.00. It's a Pentax ZX50 camera, and it takes the K-mount lenses. However, uh, this is not the lens that came with it. It actually came body only. I just have this on here for looks. Cleans everything up a little bit. But yeah, fantastic deal on this thing. It doesn't get much cheaper than that. And then for my next SLR, I picked up this Canon AE-1 program at a Goodwill. I believe it was like $25 or something with case and a whole bunch of other goodies. And uh, for some reason it doesn't like it when I shoot in program mode. It's really dark. Yeah. Doesn't wanna. But either way, very nice camera. Uh, classic. Classic SLR. This thing works a lot better outdoors. I don't know why. It just doesn't like me today. Doesn't want to fire. I probably need a new battery because I don't think I replaced the one that was in the camera yet. So next I got this Minolta 
XG1 at a yard sale for an incredible $2, and this came with another lens. This thing's in amazing shape. It needs new mirror bumper foam, but that's the only issue with the camera. And it's in beautiful cosmetic condition and great operating condition. I love this camera. I got some really fantastic photos using this thing. Unfortunately, I never did a thoughts on video, and I can't because the photos I took with this thing were all like in my neighborhood with a lot of street signs and other identifying stuff. So sadly, I will not be doing a video on this thing, or a thoughts on video anyways. Not in the near future. So what I picked up after that was at an estate sale for 17 bucks. this as a high Pentax MX in great shape. Uh, Seventeen dollars and it came with a case that was absolutely loaded with other goodies. And this thing is in great shape. Original everything. No repairs needed. Awesome camera. Um, lesser known camera but uh, actually very compact. This is one of the smallest SLRs out here except for the Contaflex. So next, at a different S8 sale with the 300mm lens, I picked up this Sears TLS Super, or Sears just, just TLS, not Sears TLS Super. Still thinking about the KS Super over there, but a Sears TLS for $15 with the 300mm telephoto. And this is a really nice camera. I got the nice black finish, the stylized Sears Roebuck Butterfly logo. Uh, really super cool camera. Uh, Rebranded Ryko. Rico Ryko Singlex in great shape for 15 bucks. Can't go wrong. The Konica TCX, this one was given to me over Christmas, picked up at a price of 10 bucks. I gotta turn it on. In great shape, working well. Neat camera. And a great price on it, too. Can't beat those Konica lenses. So next up, $2 from a thrift store. My uncle gave me this Fujika STX-1 camera. Uh, more of a student SLR, but still very nice and in really great shape. Again, needs new mirror bumper foam. So really neat camera and uh, super inexpensive. Takes the X-mount Fuji lenses in great shape too. And finally, the last SLR that I can actually show you is my Canon EX Auto. This thing is also in really good shape. It's operating well. A bit squeaky on the release. It probably just needs a bit of oil somewhere, but I really don't feel like repairing this thing. It's fine as is. But uh, this thing has interchangeable front lens elements that just screw in. I only have the 50mm, but you know... You get what you get, you don't get upset. This was $10. So, another great deal on this thing. That's pretty cheap for one of these. So, those are all of my SLR cameras. The only one that is uh, not interchangeable lenses is the Contaflex. Also, it is the only one here to have a leaf shutter. It's very cool. Like I said before, there are only two cameras that I actually cannot show you right now. Let's see. We have a total of... Fifteen cameras out here, I believe it is. Yeah, fifteen. Sorry, I had to count. Um, but yeah, uh, really nice collection. I'm really glad to own every single one of these. Um, if you want me to do a video on any specific one of these cameras, just drop me a message in the comments. I'll tell you whether or not I can do one. Uh, some of them I probably won't be doing videos on, but... Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.